tragedies, unsolved mysteries, stories we never really got the answers to. But as Malaysians, these stories are need to know and they mustn't be forgotten. Raymond Ko is a Christian pastor who ran an NGO focused on people living with HIV AIDS, recovering addicts and the less fortunate prior to his mysterious abduction in 2017. On the morning of February 13th, Pastor Ko was on his way to visit a friend in Pataling Jaya when he was stopped by unknown assailants. CCTV footage showed a convoy of three black SUVs, two cars and two motorcycles abruptly boxed in Ko's vehicle and he was made to stop his car. At least 15 masked men jumped out of the surrounding vehicles and in broad daylight forced Pastor Ko into one of their vehicles. They then fled the scene along with one of them driving Ko's car. The entire abduction took just 40 seconds and the speed, coordination and efficiency of the attack suggest the whole thing had been very well rehearsed. Although it was never officially confirmed, many suggest that Ko's abduction was religiously motivated as this 2017 incident wasn't the first time he had faced persecution because of his faith. Pastor Ko was involved in a controversy in 2011 after being accused of trying to convert Muslims, which is illegal in Malaysia. And he had even received a box with two bullets in the mail, warning him to stop his ministry work. When police investigations began a month after Ko's abduction, then Inspector General of Police Tan Sri Khaled Abu Bakar said authorities were investigating three possibilities. The first being the pastor's personal issues, the second being extremist activities, and the third being a kidnap for ransom. Then in April, it was reported that in addition to the ongoing police investigation into the abduction, a new police investigation will focus on allegations that Raymond Ko had converted two Muslim teenagers in Perlis. Another month went by and IGP Khalid confirmed that police had arrested an unnamed suspect in connection to the abduction. But what's strange is Ko's wife, Susanna Liu, claimed the whole time police didn't update the family nor the public on these claims and developments. Fast forward to July, IGP Khalid told the media that police now believe that Ko was abducted by parties linked to a human trafficking syndicate in South Thailand. But again, Ko's family was not updated on these developments. Up until August, Liu repeatedly insisted that the last formal position of IGP Khalid to her and her children at their previous meeting in March was that the police had no significant leads and that the family's public statements and media interactions were interfering with police investigations. Liu had also noted similarities between Ko's disappearance and those of other figures from minority religious communities. These include that of Muslim activist Amri Che Mat and Christian pastor Joshua Hilmi and his wife Ruth, all four of whom vanished over just a matter of months from late 2016 to early 2017. On April 3, 2019, Suhakam announced its determination that both Raymond Ko and Amri Che Mat were victims of enforced disappearances. Suhakam also concluded that both men were targeted specifically for their religious activities and that the abductions were carried out by the Special Branch, an intelligence unit affiliated with the police. However, this was never proven. Abductions are not unheard of in Malaysia, but kidnappers usually make contact quickly with victims' families for a ransom. Till today, Ko's family has not heard a single word from him or his alleged abductors, and the case is still ongoing. 